Alrighty, let's dive into setting up Microsoft Clarity Consent with CookieBot. Before we dive in, just a few things we need to have access to. We need Microsoft Clarity account set up and already in use. We need access to our web Google Tag Manager. We need access to a Chrome extension, or you could use Chrome DevTools to delete cookies and view cookies. The one I'll be using is called Cookie Editor. You could download any one from the Chrome um, store, or you could use DevTools. And finally, we recommend access to Measure You. There's a little bit of code I'm going to share a little later on. You're going to want to go grab that code uh, from Measure You. Don't need to understand what it does or what it means, but you know, we're going to walk you all through that. But you do want to go grab that code. Alrighty, let's dive in. Alrighty, so we're here to talk about consent mode for Clarity, and the deadline that is coming up is October 31st, 2025. Clarity is going to begin enforcing consent signals for page views originating from the EEA, UK, and Switzerland. Even if you don't have track of traffic from these areas, we recommend you implement this. So there's a couple things we need to do. We are going to start off in Tag Manager of Measure Summit. We're going to click on Preview, and we're going to go take a look at our Measure Summit cookies together. What I want to do before I do that is I actually just want to go to the Measure Summit site. And I have a Chrome extension called Cookie Editor. I am just going to go delete all the cookies I have for Measure Summit sites just because I do visit Summit a lot already. So it did take a second to load, but it did load. So we're going to click on our Chrome extension, which is Cookie Editor, and we're going to delete our cookies. I just want to have a fresh start when I go into preview mode. So I'm going to come back into Google Tag Manager. Uh, I'm just going to refresh the same servers and temporary unavailable uh, could just be a glitch with my internet. So we're just going to take that away and click on preview. And let's hope and pray everything connects. And we're going to go connect. Okay, so I'm just giving this a second. Okay, so now it's loaded. And my banner has popped. At this point, we haven't given consent. So what we expect is when we come into our cookie editor, we don't see Clarity cookies. Clarity has two cookies. They are underscore CL. They're CLCK and CLSK. As you can see, even though I haven't granted consent, they are still being set. Clarity does not want this happening. And Clarity has recommended that we wait for somebody to grant analytics or what CookieBot calls statistics consent before you set these cookies, these cookies. So how do you do that? Let's come into Measure Summit site with Clarity, and we're going to click on Settings. Then we're going to let it load. Then we're going to click on Setup. Then in Setup, we're going to come into under Advanced Settings, Cookies, and we're going to turn this off. Why are we turning this off? We're turning off the cookies that Clarity used to gather session data. Basically, Clarity is saying that that data won't be gathered unless consent is granted. So how do you ensure these cookies get set once consent is granted? There's a couple things we need to do in our Google Tag Manager. We're going to come into our Tag Manager for Measure Summit. We're going to go to Tags and click on the button New. Then we are going to come into the Tag Configurations, look at the gray circle, click on it, and we're going to pick the Choose a Tag Type, and we're going to go to Custom HTML. Now we need a little bit of code here. No worries. This code will be included in the workshop, but I'm going to go grab it. And I'm just going to copy it from Measure Use Container. And I'm going to go paste it into the custom HTML block of this new custom HTML tag. All this script is saying is basically it's listening for CookieBot's consent statistic signal. We really like CookieBot because they send separate signals for consent. What does that mean? I'm actually going to come into Tag Assistant and show you guys. So as you can see, I haven't granted consent yet, but I'm going to come in and grant consent. Now remember, in preview, we were at event number 10, scroll down. If I grant consent and I go allow, and it's really important to have preview open when you're doing this, you will see that we were on 10 before, and now we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, if you notice, 15 onwards is all consent. What does that mean? Well, in addition to CookieBot telling us cookie consent updated and telling us, hey, our consent has changed, it tells us what consent was granted by these events. We can use these events like cookie consent preference, cookie consent statistics, or cookie consent marketing to then decide if we fire certain tags. For example, this cookie underscore consent underscore statistics tells us that analytics consent was granted, and therefore we can use this signal, this event, to fire our Clarity cookies to be set. So I'm actually going to highlight in the API call and data layer push event, I'm going to highlight cookie underscore consent of statistics without the quotes. I'm just doing a control C on my keyboard, 
you can do a command C if you're on Mac. Then I'm going to hop into Google Tag Manager and I'm going to go into triggers, click on my ring in the gray circles. I'm going to click on the plus sign in the top right hand corner. I'm going to click on the gray rings under tag configurations. I'm going to go down to custom event and then I'm going to pop in the event name. Then under triggers, I'm going to go CE custom event dash cookie underscore consent underscore statistics and go save. So we now have this custom HTML code that Clarity wants us to use so that when somebody grants analytics consent, this code sets the cookie. So let's go do that together. We're going to go call this custom HTML dash Clarity consent cookies. And we go save. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come back to Measure Summit. And we are going to come here. And we're going to delete all our cookies. Got to get rid of those cookies, guys. So have any. you don't have to use the plugin I recommended, Cookie Editor. Use whatever plugin that works for you to delete your cookies. You can also go into debug view. Like you can also go into network if you really want to. I just find that to be cumbersome. We're going to hop into a brand new preview now that we have this change. And we're going to head back to the site. And now we're going to wait for one second for it to pop. Then we're going to click on our cookie editor to see what cookies have been set. So if we go underscore CL, we can see the clarity cookie is not set. Now what I'm going to do is allow consent. And I am fingers crossed, everything crossed. We're going to give it a second and click on here. And do, 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 do. it should have set it. Let's just make sure that was set. Let's go make sure our tag part. Well, it wouldn't have worked if this happened, guys, right? So let's go uh, refresh our preview. I should have checked that first, shouldn't I? Okay, so let's close this off, delete our cookies, and let's start over, guys. We got this, right? Sometimes there's a little hiccup when you're implementing it, and especially that happens. And you know what? You learn from it, and you just move forward. Okay, we're going to come back in here. We're going to bring up Azure Summit. And this time, we're going to make sure GTM Preview connects. So we're going to wait. Okay, we got a green check mark in the corner there, but it doesn't want to connect. So we're just going to give it a second. Preview does this sometimes. I've I've been here. So it takes a few hits of the can to get preview to work. It's okay. We will get this going. I am going to. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to stop my old debug and start a new debug. Did that do the trick? It did. See, it did. Okay. So at this point, I have come into here and I am going to go do, 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 do underscore CL, no clarity cookies. Now I'm going to allow consent. We're going to come into tag assistant. We're going to go to cookie consent statistics and we're going to see our clarity code fire. So we're going to come back to our site. We're going to click on our cookie editor and fingers crossed we see our cookies. We see our cookies. So our cookies have been set. Now let's do something a little funny. Let's delete our cookies. So now let's refresh our page. Let's hope tag assistant stays connected. Let's come back into, uh, see it disconnected tag assistant. That is fine. Um, we will try one more refresh to see if it kind of kicks it and reconnects. No, it doesn't want to. Oh, it did. Okay, perfect. So now that it's connected, now I'm going to deny consent. So I'm not giving it consent, which means we don't see, we see the cookie consent updated, but we don't see the statistics cookies. So we shouldn't have clarity cookies. We're going to come back to our cookie editor, click on it. We don't see our clarity cookies. That's awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to, again, delete our cookies. Let's do one more test. We're going to delete our cookies from Measure Summit. We are going to refresh our Measure Summit site. Now we're going to give it a second to load and fingers crossed tag assistant connects. It does this all the time. Just refresh measure summit site or whatever site you have. Keep everything crossed guys. There you go. We're all connected. Let's do something a little funny because this is one of those ultimate tests you want to check. Okay. Instead of allow all or deny all we're going to do marketing. We're going to do preferences. We're not going to give it analytics and we're going to go allow selection. Now, what's the assumption? What's the expectation? The expectation is you didn't see cookie consent statistics, so therefore our clarity cookie shouldn't be there. As you can see, we're in preview mode of Tag Manager and we don't see cookie consent statistics. So now I'm going to hop into my site. 
I'm going to click on my cookie editor. And, ooh, that should not have, oh, there you go, no value. No value, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So there's no value set for those cookies, meaning that they have not been set. And you can actually click on a show events and you can see these cookies have not been set. There's no value for them. So in that case, the cookie was not set and it is not running because we didn't, we didn't, we weren't setting it because it wasn't do, 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 do. I come back here. We didn't fire this code. So there you have it. That is setting up clarity consent um, and to help you meet that deadline of October 31st. Now, if you are new to consent and you watch this and you're like, what is consent mode? I really need to talk to my client about it. Recommend you come into measure you, you go to answer on demand and we have a couple of workshops in here. You can just search for the word consent. We have workshops ranging from just what is consent mode all the way to do, 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 understanding domain groups in CookieBot. Um, we also have setting up your banner. We talk about all things consent here. So just search for that word. You can dive in and learn all about consent there. Just know that if you have any questions, you can drop them into Expert Exchange and our entire team plus the community is there to support you. All righty. So there we have it. That was setting up Microsoft Clarity Consent with CookieBot. What was your one thing? Was it that, you know, it was pretty straightforward to set up? You just had to add that extra custom HTML tag. Would love to know what your one thing is. If you can share it here on YouTube or join us in Measure You and share it there, that'd be awesome. If you found this helpful, hit subscribe. We got a lot of great content coming for you. Already to join Measure You, you can go to measureyou.com slash workshops. You can join up for free for now. Um, and then from there, uh, be able to talk to myself, Julie, Jeff, and all of us back there in Measure You. So there you have it. That was setting up Microsoft Clarity Consent with CookieBot.